Hello residents and friends of Otterbein. It's Kendra back again to, uh, to share some updates with you and also reminders as we continue to navigate through this COVID-19 together. Um, first of all, I hope this message finds everybody well. I hope you're all healthy. And um, please remember that myself, along with the entire Otterbein family, is here for you should you need anything. Don't hesitate to reach out again to myself directly or any member of the leadership team here. Again, we're here for you. Um, I want to just go over a few restrictions as I have been doing in previous messages. Some are just friendly reminders. Um, please remember that Otterbein, all of Otterbein's nursing neighborhoods, which includes Newcomer, Asbury, our transitional care unit, Matthews and Daisy, along with assisted living, which is of course the Aurora, and Campus Center, and included um, with Campus Center, I always refer to also as Philippi, the Gallery, and the Life Enrichment Center, and our independent living apartments, our freestanding apartments, Terrace Place and Marble Hall, are restricting visitors to those to only those who are essential essential to the operation and care of our residents. This does mean that there are no outside visitors, including family or friends, that are permitted to come into the main building. We continue to screen every partner that comes in, and again, essential personnel, uh, by asking a few questions and taking their temperature. I'm sure you've heard many, many folks are doing this, many businesses are doing this. Um, and I want you to know that we are being very strict about our restrictions that we put in place strictly to do our part to help minimize the spread of COVID-19, but most importantly, to keep all of the partners and the residents safe. The Abhar Department of Health with uh, the direction of Governor DeWine, uh, as I mentioned in my last video, he, they did put the order, the stay at home order in place. Just this afternoon, April 2nd, it was uh, increased and goes through now goes through May 1st could even go longer than that but we'll wait for his direction direction on that so this is this stay at, stay at home order is in place and they are only saying asking that you do essential travel only what I would like to say is for not only all of our independent living residents and apartments but our our patio homes our ranch style homes please only go out if you absolutely have to. Again, this is where my team, we can help assist with personal items, groceries, things that you may need, meals. We, will, we are still delivering meals. We will still go to Kroger for you. We will still deliver grocery items that we are carrying in the Great Wave. Sue Suskind and her team are, are standing by and ready to help also as needed. I do want to remind you that if you are an independent living resident living in an apartment, so congregate living, this includes the Life Enrichment Center, the Gallery, Philippi, Terrace Place, Marble Hall. If you do leave campus for any reason, we are requesting or requiring that you self-isolate yourself in your apartment for 14 days upon your return. Again. This is only to do our part and to help keep everyone safe. Um, I will continue to what I said earlier is that yes, you are free to go outside. Um, as you can tell, I'm outside today. Kevin hooked me up with a new location. It's a beautiful day. So I want you to go outside and get fresh air and take a leisurely walk. Please remember social distancing though if you are with someone. Keep that six feet between you. Um, I did also want to share with you that you will be seeing, um, some of you will be seeing more Otterbein partners wearing masks. Please know that this is strictly out of an overabundance of caution to do everything we can, again, to do our part. We are fortunate at this time that here at Otterbein Lebanon, no partners or residents have been diagnosed with COVID-19. And we pray that this will continue to be the case. But we also know that as the community spread of this virus continues, we need to continue to be extremely diligent. Just know that we are taking every precaution to keep you and our partners safe. You can also help us with these efforts. The safety and well-being of our partners and residents at Otterbein Lebanon remains our top priority. So in order to do this, please remember, wash, wash your hands. 
I think we sent out a little education piece on this. Kevin uploaded something on Touchtown. This is one of the single, if not the single most important thing you can do. Wash them thoroughly for a solid 20 seconds and do it multiple times a day if you can. The other thing that we're being encouraged, that I'm encouraging you to do is avoid touching your face. I didn't realize how much I touched my face until this virus came about. So again, try to refrain from touching your face as much as possible. Social distancing. I just referenced it if you're outside taking a walk. Please remember social distancing at all times. Keep at least six feet um, between you and others. If you also, finally, if you are experiencing any symptoms, a temperature of 100 or higher, a cough or shortness of breath, please call us immediately. We are, again, here to help, and we want to jump in front of this as quickly as we can. Today, one new restriction I want to share with you, and as the weather turns nice like it is today, I know this is going to be extremely challenging because I know we've had many family members or friends come on campus and take walks with many of you. As of today, effective immediately, we are restricting all visitors from campus that to walk or stroll our grounds will no longer be permitted. If we do see this, please know they will be asked to leave campus. And again, I. I know this is hard because we all want to see our families, but I encourage you to use technology. They are permitted, let me back up, they are permitted if they wanna bring you some personal items or groceries, they need to bring those to main campus, the main entrance where the receptionist is. They will, there's a drop off point and we will have a partner get those to you as quickly as possible. We are also allowing brief, but again, social distancing window visits with our assisted living and healthcare residents because again remember they are restricted from even leaving their neighborhood so those are those are a couple exceptions there but no family or friends at this point in time are permitted to walk or stroll the campus or even utilize this space where i am today down at the pavilion i know this is hard but i ask for all of your um, respect with this and that you you honor this request uh, you also very soon will see signs at our three entrances, which are King Street, Shaker Drive, and Wheeler, where we will make this known that restriction, um, I'm sorry, visitors are restricted to only essential personnel. And then finally, I, I cannot thank all of you enough for your patience, uh, your understanding, and your commitment. I mean, together we will tackle this as an Otterbein family, as we've had many challenges, not quite like this one, but we'll get through this one as well. I have stated that the health and safety of our residents and partners is our top priority. Please remember that our leadership and clinical teams have been working diligently during this time and are prepared to handle all precautions and restrictions. As we learn more, I will continue to keep you informed uh, with videos such as this. Please continue to tune in to the OLN, Touchtown, uh, call your neighbor. Um, let's do our best to keep, our, keep each other engaged during this time, as, as challenging as it may be. We're gonna continue to put some fun things um, out on the OLN, whether it's entertainment, Jana's art class, virtual bingo. Uh, if you have any suggestions, as I've said before, please share them and we will do our best to get things out there. I will continue, as I said, with these videos. Um, in the meantime, I just, I hope all of you are healthy and stay that way and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much.